What's going on good people and welcome back to the channel Old Bike New Man and today I just want to kind of go over a product that I'm going to be using to keep our free wheeler covered um, and it's a permanent home for now so uh, I'm going to give you some details about it uh, I'm not going to show installation uh, I'm going to link a video showing you the installation video that I watched to, to figure this thing out outside of the instructions of course but um, I think it would be easier to watch this guy's channel to to see the uh, installation because he did a pretty good job and I think he's done it several times so uh, I'm going to show you the product and uh, we're going to get this thing set up and tell you what we think about it and um, you know how it's working out for me you guys stay tuned appreciate you peace As you can see, this is called the Speedway Shelter, made by Speedway Motors uh, Sport Shelters. Um, I have the, the deluxe model, which is made for trikes, uh, cannon spiders, and things of that nature. So I will show a picture of that here. And like I said, we're going to get it set up. The instructions seem pretty straightforward. I think it takes about, I think about maybe 30 minutes to an hour for the average Joe, which I am the average Joe. <laughs> so we're going to work on this thing, get it set up, and. Uh, Tell you my thoughts about it. You guys stay tuned. Appreciate you. All right, so these are all the parts laid out. Like I said, we're not going to do installation video. Just going to show you how the uh, finished product is, the final results. But not as many parts. Some of these things, as you can see, are already together. Um, and like I said, the inst installation video that I'm going to uh, have in the description, you'll see that a lot of this. Um, not really a lot of extra parts. Most of these things are pretty user friendly. So I'm excited about that. As big as it is, I thought it was going to be a lot of different moving parts, but it's not. So we're going to get into it and uh, check back with you guys in a minute. And this is the finished product in the open position, of course. So it was very straightforward. The instructions were great. And like I said, I watched the video that I'm going to link in the description for actually a couple of videos actually uh, from the same channel. Uh, this is me closing it up. Now I'm reaching up and I'm going to grab the handle. You'll see I'm looking for it now because I just try to use the handle as much as possible. But you can close it by just holding the metal bars that are covered by the fabric there. Um, you can see the UV protection uh, cover, that gray part that's on the front. That's actually separate, a separate purchase from the same company, of course, but it doesn't come with it. Um, now I'll give you guys a walk around of the uh, shelter itself. Uh, it's a pretty nice size uh, height. And um, it's pretty good. I'm 6'4", and I can stand up in there when it's closed on the inside now. Will I be in there often <laughs> with it closed? Highly unlikely. But occasionally, you never know, I might be in there doing something with the free wheeler for whatever reason. Um, the entire uh, shelter itself is um, waterproof. I hadn't. It's, we've got a couple of rains. You can see a little water there. And I hadn't had any problem with my free wheeler getting wet. But they do recommend spraying like a, um, a, a water-resistant fabric. Uh, spray on there like you would a tent or something even if it's, wa even if it's waterproof um, but I haven't done that yet now you can see the um, the windows that um, are you can access there and they're tied up with the little knots there now it's gonna look like it's taking me a little time I'm using one hand and trying to hold the camera at the same time but they're pretty straightforward you can roll them up and tie them up like that with the little hook uh, thing there and there's another one there so it's two on each side you can strap both of them up to get the entire uh, window open, or you can just do one. Uh, all the windows are Velcro, and as well as the insides where you're attaching the cover itself to the metal frame, it's all Velcro too, so everything was straightforward. There were no tools needed at all. It was all um, either click connect or uh, Velcro connect, and it's very strong Velcro, not something where you can easily undo, so it's uh, well put together. And you can see the window closes up pretty good there. Uh, no issues there. Now you can see uh, this is the um, UV protection shell uh, thing I was telling you about. If you're in a uh, climate that gets a lot of sunlight, you may want to get something like that to keep from your your shelter getting color changing and also to keep it the heat off your vehicle. Those are the straps where you can tie down if you uh, get into high winds or something. There's two on each side. This is the second one over here that I'll be showing. Um, and like I said, there's two on the other side as well. You can hook those down. I'm going to get two cinder blocks and put those on there. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking pretty uh, forward to it being here for many, many years. I think with the concrete bricks I have in there now and the cinder blocks, if it gets extreme windy, 
extreme wind, excuse me, will, will be more than enough to keep my shelter in place. The free will itself won't go anywhere, but you know, the shelter. Yeah, and these are the handles I was telling you about. That you just want to try to use it the way they suggest to use it, even though you can do your own thing as far as raising it up. Um, yeah, it's, I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing how well this thing holds up. Um, I said I can't speak too much to longevity yet just because I hadn't had it that long, but so far I don't see any signs that this thing is not well built. I do not know what that DS1 Ultra stands for, but um, I'll link, of course, to the uh, page where, uh, where I bought the uh, product from, and I'm sure they have a little more details. Uh, that's the other strap on that side there for tying down the high winds, but it'll also give you dimensions on the product page. Uh, telling you so if, if you so you'll know how much storage uh, space I'm um, not storage but how much space you'll need uh, if you decide to get something of this size like I said this is the deluxe model which is the largest one they have they have smaller ones so you can uh, keep that in mind if you just want one for your bike your two-wheeler or something but of course this mine is for my freewheeler uh, yeah those are the little hooks that you can put on there for uh, tying up the, the window cover um, I don't like to keep it completely open on both sides. Just you know, rain comes out of nowhere. And like I said, just mentioned Velcro. What I normally do is just leave a little sliver uh, so the air can circulate through there on both sides. And uh, that's how I normally just leave it. Or if I know it's going to be sunny for you know several days in a row without any chance of rain, I might roll up one side and keep just one uh, like this with a little sliver so we won't have rain coming in from both sides. But this is what I normally do just to make sure there's circulation. But... Um, yeah, this is really cool. Now, here's why I'm telling you all that it was a little difficult. The inside, putting the bars, uh, putting the Velcro around the bars, that wasn't quite as fun. But um, it wasn't difficult. It just took a little time. So this is a great product, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes over the years. Catch up with you guys in a minute. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is my little light. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I have um, my concrete blocks on the uh, metal down now they have it comes with uh, screws you can screw into your concrete but my wife has not approved me <laughs> drilling into her new concrete patio for the extension we had we had a small one we had it extended you know, really for this uh, purpose so I'm gonna get a couple more over in this area one one here stack another one on top of that one and stack one on top of that one stack one there and one right beside the, the big, uh, biggest cinder blocks. And that'll give it real strong support. And uh, also has a place for a lock down here as well on this side. Down here close to the, to the end there. Yeah, where those metal screws are, there's a little lock thing toward the end there. Right about there. So I'll probably get that as well. And that'll keep it pretty much secure, very secure. Now, if we ever get strong wind, what I'll decide to do is get some additional cinder blocks and uh, let me close it back up. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys about the um, this flooring here. Got this from Home Depot, just had it cut. Just got some uh, mat matting that'll um, resist all stains, which, you know, no reason for this, this track to be <laughs> leaking in all and anything like that, but things happen, of course. Just had it cut and uh, to my specifications, and which I did six by 10, and that pretty much, I just had to cut a little bit off the edge there, but. Uh, it was pretty straight when they got it from the Home Depot. So, um, it's pretty working out pretty good. And this is pitch black dark, and that's the light we have. Just a little battery operated uh, lantern. Uh, you can see the free willows here looking good, beautiful as ever. And then, uh, you can see in the tent now, not tent, but the Speedway shelter. Now, I'm not going to be in here working. <laughs> with this thing closed or anything like that, but you have the option to. And uh, let me see if you can see the uh, height. You can see, you got a little space there and in the middle is even more space. So it's uh, pretty tall, it's a pretty good deal. All right. Now I don't have them yet, but I'm gonna get uh, maybe two cinder blocks or something that's really heavy. And uh, whenever it's, it's supposed to be extreme wind, if I feel like it's real windy, I'm gonna tie them bad boys down on here. And uh, and the one back there, and then of course there's two on the other side. And that'll ensure that my, my shelter won't go anywhere. 
So, yeah, this is going to work out great. And like I said, I will link the uh, video for the description for. I think his name is Cal Bradshaw. He does a lot. He's done a lot of motorsports stuff over the years. So he has a couple of videos of uh, him putting this shell together or different sizes as well because they have smaller ones than this if you want one for your bike or something like that or dual sports, something like that. So, or, so yeah, real cool. Uh, big shout out to them. Obviously, I don't know about longevity yet. I haven't had it that long. Uh, so we'll see. But so far, we've had a few good rains and my free wheel is still dry inside. So that's good enough for me. So talk to you guys later. Peace.